It's me, Nakia, coming to you guys again. Um, I had so much fun creating this look. I said that on the last video, but for real, I really do have fun while I'm doing makeup. It's always like a lot of pressure and a lot going on while I'm recording, but I do have fun creating this look. So I got a new makeup shipment in um, from ABH. And you know what? ABH is slowly but surely Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is slowly but surely climbing to the top. The climbing to the top is one of my favorite brands. Um, it is just like their products are amazing. So I got the glow kit in sun dipped, and I got the modern renaissance uh, palette. Now I ordered some other things too, but these were the two things that I was like, yes, I need these. I need these. So um, today I'll just show you kind of what I have on my eyes. Um, nothing too major. You know, I really am still getting like uh, acclimated or adjusted to this palette um, and just playing with the colors. And then my hair is blonde. And so with my hair being blonde, it kind of like scares me a little to be like dramatic because it's like, I'm dark skin, my hair blonde, I got big eyelashes, I got big lips. It's like, you know, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So um, that's why, you know, I'm just kind of warming up. But I love this palette. I love this palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. The colors in it are just, the color payoff is just, I, I feel like that's the number one thing with this palette that I noticed immediately. The color payoff is like that. Like, what's the brush it came with? Came with this little ABH brush and I like my MAC brushes, but this brush is actually efficient. And you know what? I dabbed it in there once, twice, and my whole crease was covered crease whole crease was covered so i'm not being dramatic it's an amazing payoff and it is women of color friendly i am a working makeup artist so like majority of the time when i buy products if i don't like it i just throw it in my kit and use it on my clients but lately especially since i've been recording i really have try to invest my money into things that I can wear as well so this palette is women of color friendly I certify it I put my stamp on it it is women of color friendly so you know um literally all of the there's just it's just a gorgeous palette guys I mean I could go into swatches and all of that but I don't want to nor do I like doing that so you know I'm just gonna say I'm in NC50 and MAC Cosmetics, which is a pretty dark shade, and I love it. So, it's women of color friendly. It's approved. Go get it. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, not old. So, Sephora, um, AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. Everybody has this. Go grab it. That's my spiel on that. Now, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, though. Let's have a moment of silence. Okay, that's over. No, seriously. <laughs> seriously, the moment of silence is over. This is a must-have. I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to tell you guys, if you like being highlighted, if you like your cheekbone to be on fleek, go grab this Sun Dipped Glow Kit. Thank me later. Must-have. Okay, also, what else do I have new on today? I have the Lily Lashes Monocos. I'm praying I'm saying that right. Monocos. M-Y-K-O-N-O-S. Minoko, Mikonos. Mikonos. I don't know how you pronounce it. I seen them on Instagram promoting it. And, you know, I just wanted to try mink lashes again. I tried um, the Flutter mink lashes. Those were nice. You know, for a lash brat like myself, $40 for lashes are just kind of like, what? I can get lashes for $9. One of my favorites, the Vegas Nay Stardust Lashes and Grand Glamour. Those are like $10. Those are more my price range. But, you know, I was shopping. So, I'm like, let me grab some. Grab the Lily Lashes in Mikonos. However I'm pronouncing it, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, sorry, in advance. So, this is a lash, honey. When I say a lash, this is a lash. So, I love those. So yeah, guys, just tell me what you want to see, what you like. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns below. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, guys, so you know I'm not that bright sometimes. I was not recording the entire time I did this eye, so that's why it's like halfway in. But anyways, I'll leave the colors below that I did use in my crease. I just used the 224 and the 217 to build up my crease a lot. Thanks.
Also, my entire look, like every single shadow that's on my eyeball is from this new Modern Renaissance palette. I did not use any other shadows, so just refer to it if you are trying to figure out what I used. Watch out the feet. What? Jay. I'm going in with MAC Paint Pot and laying low and I'm really kind of just carving out my eye shape. This is the easiest way for me to kind of create a cut crease without constantly going back in time over time again trying to make sure my crease is really sharp. I'm just going in with my favorite setting powder right now. It's Sasha Cosmetic and Buttercup. And I'm just going in and setting all of my highlighted areas. And I'm going to bake with this powder for at least 20 minutes. I find that it makes my highlights stay all day. Watch out the feet. <laughs> 